Greetings and welcome. It's another time for an unboxing, and today's going to be an interesting day. Um, I have something from Play Asia. Ooh, I wonder what it is. Well, if you read the title, then you probably know what it is. <laughs> uh, this is the uh, Resident Evil uh, for the PlayStation 3 remake. I guess re remake, remake of a remake, exception or something like that. Um, from Japan, from Play Asia. Uh, this game is going to be released uh, digitally, I believe, uh, in May or March next year for not just PlayStation 3, but also on Xbox 360, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, etc. Um, I wanted a physical copy of this game. Now, normally, I don't import games from Japan. Uh, the last time I, I, I did that was Tatsunoko vs. Capcom. For a Nintendo Wii because I really really wanted to play that game um, so I imported it and kind of pissed me off because about four months later they announced a US release uh, when I bought it at the time there was no indication that they were going to um, do a uh, westernized version they weren't going to release it in the United States so whatever Capcom that's cool <laughs> it looks like I, and it uh, looks like they're doing the same thing with this one um, all right, well, without further ado, let's open Resident Evil. The PlayStation 3. <laughs> now, I got the um, American. It's supposed to have, like, both English dub and Japanese dub. So that's the original. I'm sorry, sub. Sub. English sub and Japanese dub. I read somewhere on Play Asia that what happens uh, when you get this game is that uh, it reads your system settings for um, the PlayStation 3, like your system language or something. So if you're in North America, if it's set to English, whatever um, you know subtitles or whatever uh, language that it originally had, it'll convert itself to English or some shit like that. I don't, I don't fucking know. Uh, but this is the limited edition. Uh, I gotta tell you guys. Um, People, you know, if you're watching this on YouTube or on Twitch, the fucking shipping f for this game was ridiculous. I paid like $18 shipping for this bitch, but I wanted it really badly, so. Um, I actually wanted the super duper awesome collector's edition that had, uh, it was pretty badass. Not only did it have the game, but it had the art book. It had the um, a replica of the Spencer Mansion from Resident Evil 1. Uh, it had a stars, it was either stars or RPD journal entry. Um, it kind of looked, it kind of looked like a Jill's, like it might have belonged to Jill or something like that. Like that, it was pretty badass. I think it was like two hundred fucking dollars. <laughs> it was really, really expensive, and the ship and uh, I actually couldn't even order it in. They listed it for two hundred dollars, and then when I tried to. I was just for shits and giggles. I wasn't going to buy it. I'm not going to drop $200 on a game like that. Like, even though I love Resident Evil, I just don't have that kind of money. Um, but for shits and giggles, I put it in my cart, and uh, it wouldn't even let me order it. I couldn't even pay for shipping, so this is the only version I could get. Anyway, um, what we got here, opened out of the box, we got a shit ton of popcorn styrofoam. Hell yeah. And, oh my god. That's pretty badass. Alright, so this is what we got. Wait, hold on. Before I get to that, what is this? Terms and conditions. This coupon... Wait, do I have a coupon? Oh my god. I just flashed coupon. Well, it's... What the fuck is this? $5 off... I don't know if people saw it or not, but anyway. <laughs> Fucking, I put, I just, oh, whatever. If someone takes, someone takes it. It's only $5 off. Uh, if not, then I will save this for um, a next giveaway. I got $5 off Dynasty Warriors 7, I'm guessing this is what it is. Uh, so that's cool. Maybe I'll pick up Dynasty Warriors 7. I don't know. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that happens if uh, you order off of PlayAsia. Oh, well. If someone takes it, someone takes it. If not, I probably wasn't playing Dynasty Wars. Oh, wow, there's another coupon in here. What the fuck is this? Hold on, let me... Before I reveal it. I got a free game. 
the fuck is this? I got a free game, but there's no code, so I'm guessing it's available to everyone. Download your... I, I can't even read this. It's like... Here, I'll cover up the... Well, I don't even know if you can IR code things on the internet, but... I got this. <laughs> I can't even fucking read that. Domino? E e Ebonics? Ebonics the Star Game? I don't fucking know. <laughs> and Trouble with Robots. Another... And then there's all of this. Trouble with Robots. I don't know. But we got two codes. I got five dollars off... Honest or worse, is there anything else in here? Any more codes? No, no. Alright, cool, they gave me codes. Whatever. Anyway, get this popcorn shit out of here. On to the main event. <sighs> Pretty badass. Okay, so Resident Evil Remake. Re remake. Re 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 remix! <laughs> There's a special uh, DLC video in here, too, so as you can see, it says BIOHAZARD HD remaster, Capcom, big-ass face of the zombie from the first game, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 3, uh, English, English, Japanese, subs, and dubs, so it says voice and subtitles, plus bonus DLC. It says that right there. And then on the back, we got... I can't fucking read this. <laughs> it's all in Japanese, like kanji or hiragana or something like that, so I can't even read that. But damn, this is pretty badass. I didn't think it was going to be look this cool. I didn't think it was going to be this big. That's what she said. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's open up this bastard. Fucking tight. All right. Damn. I don't feel so bad paying eighteen dollars shipping for this. This looks pretty cool. This is like this is like a once in a fucking like. Once every, like, four or five years, I'll buy something imported. I usually never buy imported games. I, I'm usually patient enough, but I love this game. I love Resident Evil 1 Remastered so much back on the GameCube. And even the archives version on the Wii, I had to get a physical copy of this game. And fuck that if I'm going to buy the same price for a digital copy. So, All right, so we open it up. So let's see what we got in here. All right. Opening it, up, opening it backwards. Oh shit! Oh shit! There it is. Oh, oh, oh. yes. All right. Before we get to the game, holy fuck! This thing is huge. Oh my god. All right. So we got the Biohazard art book. All right. You can see. There's the table of contents. So contents, it's it basically it's oh wow, it's basically a um, shot by shot of every single location in Resident Evil One art book. So I guess it's showing you like the comparison or something. So this is the main hall. So the beginning of the game, the main hall section. Whoops. And then there's the dining room. Badass. Okay. And then we got the bar. Oh, it even shows you the lo location on the map. The bar and greenhouse. We got the. Whoa, covering it up. There's the greenhouse. Oh, do do do, and the bar. Northeast Corridor and the Tea Room. That's pretty cool. East Stairway, Large 
large room. Art room and dining hall, two, second floor. Keep covering up the words, my bad. U, cor U corridor. <laughs> they actually call it the U corridor. That's pretty funny. Uh, and then the armor room. That's pretty cool. The trophy room and the mirror corridor. Wow, that looks pretty frightening. That picture of the moose head. Pretty scary. The researcher's room and the death's passage. Now, a lot, now, I remember death's passage wasn't in the original director's cut or the PlayStation version. It was only in the GameCube one. That's one of the unique rooms. Death's passage and the researcher's room. The library. The library is fucking huge. Look at this. A oh, library and kitchen. My bad. The Concrete Passage 2. And the Crypt. Main Garden and the Muddy Path. I should just fucking... Grab my camera or something, I don't know. Cabin and Lisa's cell. God, fucking Lisa. She scares the shit out of me. It's the Lisa's cabin and the cell. The winding passage and the spider's nest. The fright elevator. Jessica's tomb. I think that's Lisa's mom, if I'm not mistaken. Entry corridor. We're almost done here. The gallery and central corridor. The rec room and plant 42 room. Can't wait to do a no knife playthrough trying to fucking beat plant 42. That's gonna be fun. Aqua ring entry and the aqua ring itself. That's where the sharks are. Anyone remembers? That got like the redesign for that was pretty amazing for the GameCube. The aqua ring second floor and the control room. Data storage room and the operating room. Data storage and operations. Oh, like it says, umbrella. Right there. Organic weapon office official report. Office report. The morgue and power corridor. Floor one. That's pretty cool. Power room and main laboratory. This is where the spine of the, uh, the thing is. Kind of bent a little, so gotta be careful. Laboratory where Tyrant is. Fuck shit up. Kills Wesker. Teleport and helipad. And lastly is just, I guess, the people who set up the art book. Probably like Shinji Mikami and a bunch of other people, I'm not too sure. So that's the Biohazard art book. That's pretty badass. That's, um... It's roughly 50 pages. Yeah, it's, it's exactly 50 pages, so that's really cool. Now this, holy shit, I didn't think it was gonna be this big. This is basically a blueprint... 
says confidential. Uh, replica blueprint of the Spencer Mansion from Resident Evil. Um, gotta be very careful with this. Oh, it even says stuff on the back, so let's see. If you look here, you got the first floor, Spencer Mansion. Second floor. Basement, first floor, third floor, Spencer Mansion. I'll read it in a second. There's some stuff there, confidential. Uh, some cabinet shit. I have no idea what the fuck that is. And then there's something, there's like a picture or something on the back. Um... And then there's some other blueprints on the back as well. July 5th, 1962. Meeting went well. Alright, so... Uh, let me just read a couple things we got here. Uh, custom orders. Once place for his dogs to stay. Oh, those are kennels. Those are basically kennels. Uh, the eagle watches over the gems. That's the, um, the puzzle room. Where the, um, you gotta figure out the, uh, uh, birth and death of a man. So basically you start off as infant, child, um, you know, uh, young boy, young man, you know, to get to, uh, get one of the crests. I believe it was one of the crests, either half a crest or full crest to get to the, the garden. Um, Lord Spencer says he would punish intruders if they went towards his... <laughs> Okay, if they basically if they went into his reading room, he would fuck them up. <laughs> it says reading room. Uh, he would punish them. Um, he's, then there's a bunch of places where it shows the locked doors. He wants to make them a collection. The armor room. Okay, so there's an indication according to this that I guess maybe he took dead people and put them in the armor room. I'm not too sure. There's a guest room, the restroom. The billard room. So there's there's a couple rooms here that didn't come into fruition. Look at this. The billard room. You take a look at that. That never happened in the game. So I guess that was closed off. Uh, let's see. Make a corridor. There's a tea room. So he had a tea room. And apparently there was supposed to be cord. That the tea room was connected to the library. On the third floor. Whoa, 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 whoa. Third floor? There wasn't a third floor in the game, if I'm not mistaken. There's the basement, first floor, and second floor. There was never a third floor in the mansion. So... Huh. There was... Uh, there was so, actually... I guess, originally, the Spencer Mansion was supposed to have... It was going to be a three-story building. Three mansions. Or, uh, uh three floors. That's pretty cool. So there's a tea room. Right there. Now the basement was where the other library was where you um, solved one of the puzzles. Uh, then there's the courtyard. Nothing that's unique. Everything looks the same. Everything, yeah, everything looks the same. Yeah, there's no, there's no blueprint for the courtyard. Decor decorate with the paint, old paintings, custom made, pendulum clock, or something with hands. Piano open secret doorway, back door, tiger with the blue and yellow eye. So this motherfucker. <laughs> According to this blueprint, this motherfucker was planning puzzles before the goddamn building was finished. <laughs> what an asshole. <laughs> what a fucking douche. Well, by the way, if you want to get into the storeroom, you're going to have to fucking uh, play a piano. Oh, by the way, if you want to get uh, the food, you're going to have to get the blue and yellow gems uh, to open up the refrigerator. Um, if you want to leave the place, you got to fucking turn the hands on the clock. Make sure you pick up the car keys, but the car keys are in within another puzzle. What a dick. <laughs> uh, 
Oh yeah. Anyway, um, so on. It says the planning on the Spencer Mansion. I'm gonna try and read this. It's kind of hard to read. It says, Mansion design proposal. Take back to office for updating. Update. Changing. Changing. Construction companies. Start date with. Start date will be. Push back. Doing with Lord Spencer's recommendations. Go, sorry, going with Lord Spencer recommendations. Sorry, changing construction companies start date will be pushed back. Going with Lord Spencer's recommendations. So they changed construction companies. So the first construction company didn't want to fucking do this. Apparently, we'll make the contract later on, and then there's a signature on the bottom. So or Oswell E. Spencer, March twenty first, nineteen sixty two to be determined, and then there's a signature on the date, confidential. Right there. And then I'll read what's on the back. There's some stuff on the back. July 5th, 1962. Meeting went well. Some of Lord's... There. Some of Lord Spencer's design proposals and complic... Uh, some of Lord Spencer's... The fucking cursive is, like, ridiculously hard. Some of Lord Spencer's design proposals were complicated, but nothing we can't handle. This is very, ex this is a very exciting project. He's even going to invite my family and I, and invite my family and I when it's completed. Plus, let my daughter Lisa, oh God, <laughs> Lisa be a, a model for one of the paintings in the gallery. Such an honor. And then it also says, that dog has had no proper training. My blueprints are now covered in ink. <laughs> Apparently, the, the, the reason why it looks all messed up at the top is because the, a dog fucking, I guess, bumped Spencer when he was designing this thing and it got all fucked up. So Lisa's parents, um... Wait, Lisa is Spencer's daughter, if I'm not mistaken, right? I can't remember, because Spencer, the Spencer Mansion he designed, and then he wasn't allowed to leave, and his daughter was his daughter and his wife was were was experimented on. So, no, no, this is not the same person. I don't remember. I don't honestly remember. Maybe someone can tell me in the comment box who. Lisa's parents were. I know they had something to do with designing the mansion and they weren't allowed to leave. They were experimented on, but I can't remember. It's been so long. I know Spencer was uh, was the main antagonist in Resident Evil Zero. Uh, you had to fight him as a leech man, which was a pain in the ass. He was a fucking dickhole. So anyway, that's the uh, Spencer mansion and Resident Evil or Biohazard art book. They got those. Alright, so on to the game. Holy shit, this unboxing is long. I always do long-ass unboxings. Uh, before I get started, there's the Umbrella logo right there. That's pretty cool. I got the Umbrella symbol. And then, uh... Biohazard HD Remastered for PlayStation 3. And I'm going to be starting a stream really sh <laughs> very fucking soon, because I really want to play this game. Alright, so let's open this up. What do, we, what do we got? Oh, it's a flip cover. Uh, it has two sides. All right, so we got... Oh, there's an English side, too. That's pretty cool. So I'll flip that after. So this is the disc. Yeah. Biohazard. And thank fucking god you guys can't see these codes. Let me hold on one sec. Before I do something stupid, there's a code on here. What is this? Oh, it's a video. Alright, so I'm not going to show you guys the code, but there's a video. It says it expires, well, two, 2000, uh, 2015, November 27th. Only available to after download codes first inputted. What is this? 
there's a movie or something I can watch. So that's cool. I'll check that out later. Um, there's two manuals in here. There's a Japanese manual. There's Japanese. HD remaster. And holy fuck, it's in full color. Look at that. It's in full color. Look at me, look at me fucking rip the pages like a beast. You guys can read that, right? You can fucking read that? Because I can't read Japanese for shit. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Full color Japanese. And then we got the English manual. Now, this is useless. <laughs> Just toss the fucker. <laughs> Alright, it looks pretty much the same. So we got the infamous bite scene, the first zombie you come across. Uh, it was, uh, was it Kenneth, I believe? Was the one who was like the first victim. Well, not technically not the first victim, but the first one you come across in the in the uh, mansion. All right, so we got the screen options, title options. I wonder if there's other games in uh, Japan, like Capcom games or other games that do have full colored art books. I mean, um, uh, manuals, but they change them in the states. They, we probably get the fucking short end of the stick. If this is like the norm for most games in Japan, we're getting fucked over, dude. Seriously, we we don't even get manuals anymore. We get like sheets of paper. It's ridiculous. Uh, there's gallery controls, art, um, credits, game over screen. No one ever better. No one better lie and say I've never seen the game over screen. What does it look like? Pretty sure I know how to play Resident Evil. So, uh, interesting note. I forgot to mention this game has both the old ass tank controls and the new like Resident Evil 4 ish and above new controls. So you can play it either, you know, the sluggish tank style controls if you if you want to go like old school retro. Or if you're used to the new Resident Evil, it's supposed to have the new controls. I'm gonna try both. I'm probably gonna stick with the classic controls first just to get that, you know, that Resident Evil that retro feel. Um, but it's pretty cool that they added that so they made the game easier for people. Uh, walking, run, aim, 180 degree, turn, yada, yada, yada. That is screen, so, fine, caution, danger, poison, fuck you. Fuck you, poison, I hate you. Actually, I, I kind of miss poison, they, they got rid of it. Uh, and then of course the inventory screen, sorry, I should, forgot to show the inventory screen, it's different too. Uh, then you got the map files and all that cool stuff right there uh, Settings you have to do your display controls brightness audio language all that stuff And then uh, leader oh wow they have actually leaderboard tracking and then there's a the note section other features clear game Wesker's report is in this game. So if anyone doesn't know uh, Wesker's report was a short uh, Documentary uh, with Wesker it was animated um, where It's like kind of like CGI that explained basically uh, The story from Resident Evil 1 through his perspective basically he kept a log and he talked his report of what happens between Resident Evil 1 and I think it goes all the way up to Code Veronica, I, I believe. So it's pretty cool. I think it's about 20, 25 minutes long. Um, so that's pretty cool that they actually added that in the game. Uh, clear conditions, you can unlock extra features and stuff. And then they have Resident Evil.net. So Resident Evil has its own official, I think since Resident Evil 6, they've they've created Resident Evil.net uh, Evil and stuff. Uh, they have their own website now, so that's pretty cool. And they got notes, which I never use. I never write that because I don't want to, like, ruin it. All right, so that's the handbook. Uh, I'll be downloading that code. There's the code for the movie, all that stuff, whatever that is. Um, and then the Japanese version of the Japanese version. Before I end this, though, let me flip the, flip the cover. It's pretty cool that they actually have double covers. Oh, people just join, they want to see the case. <laughs> Alright, so let's flip this around. That's why I, I keep telling people, follow me on Twitter. <laughs> I have uh, people on Twitch, they're like, oh, you, oh, show it, I joined late. If you, fo if you followed me on Twitter, you would have been here, boom, immediately. 
<clears throat> All right. All right. All right. So I'm probably gonna keep it this way, uh, with the Resident Evil sticking out from the side. Oh shit! Hold up. All right, so now that we can actually read the fucker, <laughs> and god damn it, it's still off. Fuck. Okay. Fucking fine. What's up, We Need Games, Ghostface, everyone else in the stream? All right, so that looks a lot better. I can actually read that. Residence Evil. A Capcom. Uh, I got the spine there. And then... Evil Rediscovered. Alpha Team is sent onto a mission to find their missing comrades and are attacked by a pack of strange, disfigured dogs. Desperate for an escape, they take shelter in a nearby mansion. But will they make it out alive? Wesker's Report 1 and 2. Oh, there's a two-parter. Over 15 minutes of newly edited special videos. Uh, Wes Wesker's Report 1 and full-length reading of Wesker's Report 2 with a total of uh, 50 pages included. Uh, Chris and Jill can be played wearing the BSAA uniforms. Japanese voice. This game provides both Jap... Uh, sorry. This, vo th this game provides Japanese voiceovers with the performance of the talented voice artist team. Fear is further accelerated. This game... The basic game content is the same as the original release. And then there's a bunch of other stuff in Japanese. So, uh, basically, um, I'm not too sure if the digital con the digital version's gonna have this, but that's pretty cool. You can play as the Resident Evil Five, uh, Resident Evil Five costumes, the BSA uh, costumes in this game. I'm pretty sure. I'm not too sure if they're gonna have that when the game actually gets released digitally in the United States. So I never watched Wesker's Report Two. Just to let you know, I've only seen the first one, um, so that's gonna be interesting. So I have a whole new, I have a whole movie to watch, and Wesker's Report too. And apparently, there's 50 pages for you to read. That's pretty cool. Uh, one thing to note: it says Japanese voice. Um, they probably put this on here, Japanese voices, because if anyone knows, Resident Evil, fucking focus, piece of shit camera. Resident Evil is one of the very few uh, video games in Japan where they pretty much have always had English voice actors, even in the Japanese versions, which is really cool because if you are an American or if you, you know, you know English, you could play any ja any Resident Evil game in Japan just fine because they speak English. Now reading, you know, reading, you know, stuff in your inventory box or reading signs or if you have to read any, you know, conversations, dialogues or subtitles or anything like that, that could be a problem, but understanding the story through the voice acting and stuff like that, uh, you'll understand just fine. So that's pretty cool. They added that. So it's not just it's not just a remake of a remake, but they added extra stuff in this uh, in this game too. So that's gonna be it. Let me put all this back. I'll show everything to people who just joined. So that's the game, and it doesn't want to stay apparently. What the fuck with the umbrella logo. Spencer Mansion. Confidential. Oh my god. Super secret, yo. And the art book. So if people are wondering, um, I guess I'll put a... Well, I don't know if you can still get this now. It's probably sold out, but uh, I'll put a link in the description on the YouTube channel, on the uh, YouTube video uh, where to get this. This costed me, I think, around $65, I want to say. Like $65, $66. The game itself, like this collector's edition itself, if you lived in Japan, it would only, well, I'm not too sure how much it would cost you in, um, in yen or whatever, but, um, it was only, uh, around 40, 45 dollars, but I had to pay fucking 18 dollars shipping to ship it to Hawaii, which is bullshit, because I live in, Ho um, I live, Hawaii is like literally right next door to Japan, and I don't understand why I had to pay the same shipping for them to just bring it over, not even that far compared to, like someone on the mainland, like California, or even on the West Coast, 
I think it's bullshit, but whatever. Um, $18 shipping, and actually, I got lucky. That was actually a discount. <laughs> Originally, they were going to charge me, like, $30 shipping, but I was able to fucking contact them and say, Hey, I really want to get this game, and I got the, the still the basic shipping, but at least it wasn't that expensive, so. And then we got the, what it came in, so that's going to be it for the Resident Evil unboxing. Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's gonna be it, you guys. Resident Evil, PlayStation 3, Limited Edition, Biohazard, HD Remake, 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 whatever. Resident Evil Exception. Badass. Can't wait to play it. See you later. <laughs>